Welcome to Drinking with Lincoln, Bottle 3, Oregon Wine Month Edition. I'm Christine Clare, Winery Director here at Willamette Valley Vineyards, and this is my son, Lincoln James Clare. Lincoln, did you know that May is Oregon Wine Month? What a fabulous way to enter your fifth week Earthside. It is nice to see you dressed in your finest tuxedo. Though, since you're a new Oregonian, you should know that we're really more jeans and t-shirt people. Typically, the month is filled with tastings and events, but this year, given the unique circumstances, Oregon Wine Month is now best enjoyed from home. In today's episode and throughout Oregon Wine Month, I'm gonna teach you some of the things that make Oregon wine so special. Let's start with the foundation of our wines. Early on, Oregon winemakers immigrated from California in search of the perfect cool climate terroir for growing the grape that they've been called to dedicate their lives to, Pinot Noir. Known as the heartbreak grape, since it is so sensitive to its environment and variable based on vintage conditions, yet there is a reason Pinot Noir is considered one of the world's greatest wines. When it's good, it's magical. And as Miles in the 2004 movie Sideways, calls its flavors the most haunting and brilliant and thrilling and subtle and ancient on the planet. Finding a climate where it would best grow and creating a culture focused on its craft, these Oregon wine pioneers realized that they had something special here, worth protecting and deserving distinction. They didn't have to, but our founders advocated for labeling regulations stricter than those required by the federal government. It was and remains today a matter of authenticity and integrity, recognizing the importance of place and varietal. The Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, or TTB, developed a set of federal wine labeling requirements to ensure the integrity of alcoholic beverages in the marketplace and to accurately inform customers. They require if a wine lists a country, state, or county, at least 75% of the wine must be produced from grapes grown in that place named. And at least 85% if the label lists a specific American Viticultural Area, or AVA, such as Napa Valley. In Oregon, if the label claims or implies Oregon, an Oregon County or an AVA wholly within Oregon, 100% of the grapes must be from Oregon and 95% from the Appalachian of origin. Exceptions to this rule apply to wines declaring cross-border AVAs, such as the Walla Walla Valley and Columbia Gorge, for which AVA labeling may follow the laws of either state. What is an appellation and why is it so important? Appellations are established through a rigorous process with the federal agency, the TTB. The process can take years to go through to prove the distinction of a place. Climate research, soil testing, and consistent wine characteristics are all required as part of the proposal. Once earned, an AVA is arguably the most important information shared on the label. It indicates where the grapes are grown and potentially the style of the wine. Protecting AVAs is very important as it prevents exploitation and consumer fraud. Once you have established something special and worth protecting, there can soon be people looking to exploit it by mislabeling or representing the appellation or making false marketing claims. This happened historically in France's Champagne, Chablis, and Burgundy regions, where New World producers use these terms to describe the wines to gain advantage in the marketplace. We have had recent examples of this in the Willamette Valley and Oregon, and it is very important to protect as it maintains the viability of producers in our state. If we don't protect our appellations, we would find the Oregon wine industry erode, as all Oregon wines could be made outside the state to lower standards that are easier and cheaper to produce in the same way that happened in France. Lincoln, one way to determine if a wine is authentically made is if it says produced and bottled in Oregon on the back label. Why is that? Well, it's because the statement ensures the wine was made and bottled here, adhering to Oregon's higher standards. Oregon also has stricter regulations than other U.S. regions when it comes to labeling the varieties used in wine. Federal regulations state that at least 75% of grapes used to make a wine must be of the declared variety. In Oregon, 90% or more of the wine must be the named variety. Lincoln. 
Now that you know the facts, we can conclude that the moral of this story is that setting standards high should be credited as one of the reasons Oregon has achieved such high quality reputation in such a short amount of time. This is also a lifelong lesson you can take and apply to your own life that anything worth doing should be done to the best of your ability and is worth fighting the good fight for. Now let's cheers your bottle to our Oregon wine pioneers this Oregon Wine Month.